Hey y'all. So let's let's take let's take a couple of minutes to talk about Cameron Grimes. Um why is this Southpaw regional motherfucker on my TV all the time? And why the fuck is he beating like Kushida and Finn Balor and Damian Priest, the top guys in NXT? Why is this motherfucker who's walking around in a plague doctor hat and and an obviously par- like I know he's from North Carolina. I think he comes from he's friends with the Hardys and maybe uh the Hurricane. I'm not. I, I hope that's not the case. And that, you know, it's WWE nepotism. They're pushing friends of friends again. But this motherfucker is not a promo guy. He's not a body guy. He's not a character guy. I don't know what the fuck is supposed to be going on with Cameron Grimes. And they are pushing the shit out of him. I'm sick of it. If we're being quite honest, I'm fucking sick of this. All right, this Cameron Grimes stuff. I've had it up to my eyebrows, and I'm only five foot nine. But I've had it up to my fucking eyebrows. What Cameron Grimes and his I'm Cameron Grimes. <laughs> I, I don't get that shit. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Usually I try to take time to understand a character before I talk shit about him. I try to sit back and say, hmm, what is it about this character that's pissing me off? Is it because he's a heel? Uh, and I will say, no, it's not because he's a heel because I don't like his work. I don't like his in ring work. And I never liked his in ring. I didn't like his in ring work when he was Trevor Lee in TNA. The technical savage, which I have no idea what the fuck that even meant. Nobody took time to explain to me what the technical savage was meant. Like he was just a wild guy who had like, he looked like the, you know, kind of like a, he just, I just didn't get it. You know, I couldn't come up with anything that he looks like. Cause I, I, I was trying not to be corny, but he just has this like really ratty look to him. And I was trying to figure out what the fuck the technical savage meant. Because when you say technical savage, you think like Kurt Angle, like Timothy Thatcher, like Oni Lorcan, like, or even Daniel Bryan, where you got this, you know, um, this uh, hookish, you know, this guy who's kind of like a hooker. He kind of comes across like a, like a legit catch wrestler or whatever. Even to some degree, uh, Pete Dunne is another one, you know, you know, the penguin Pete Dunne. But these, a lot of these people, man. This technical savage stuff he was doing in TNA, I had no idea how that was operating. And he was a champion, and he felt like absolute nothing. I did not understand that whole technical savage thing at all. It didn't. It didn't click with me. And some people were. And, and the crazy thing is, like a lot of people, like I heard Jim Cornette talk well about Cameron Grimes. Like he liked Cameron Grimes. I'm like, why? Is it because he reminds you of some dusty, you know, some motherfucker dusty would have pushed in the 70s? Because I don't give a fuck about that. You know, like I'm looking at this guy on my TV screen in the year 2020 and he comes across like a caricature of a wrestler. Like he looks like a guy playing a character and he's so over the top that I'm just kind of like just looking at this shit like I don't understand this. This is so bad. All right. This is like legit bad TV and I don't get it. And I want somebody I'm putting this out into the universe to give somebody an opportunity to explain to me if this motherfucker has ever had a great match or promo. I don't care if you go back to Trevor Lee, go back to Trevor Lee. I'll probably, I have to look it up. You know, I don't remember this nigga having any good matches. I don't remember having any good promos. I don't remember. He's not a good, not a good character, not a good body. And yet this motherfucker beat Kushida. This motherfucker beat Finn Balor. I think he was one of the last people in the breakout tournament before ACH had his meltdown and quit the company. He was, you know, they were they have been really pushing this guy for a while now, and now he's kind of going kind of going up the card, and I'm just kind of thinking to myself like, why? What what is what is this about Cameron Grimes? What 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 is this Cameron Grimes shit? Why is he on my TV slashing tires? Why is he involved in anything that has anything to do with people who might be able to draw money one day? Why are they being weighed down with fucking Cameron fucking Grimes? Why? Why is this happening? Why is this parody Southpaw motherfucker on my TV? I don't understand it. Maybe you can explain it to me. Let me know in the comment section what the fuck the deal is with Cameron Grimes. All right. Do you even give a shit about Cameron Grimes? For starters, if you are a fan of Cameron Grimes, you're lying, man. Stop lying to yourself. Stop lying to me. You're just trolling. Now, I'm all for trolling. Okay. But don't troll me. You're going to do better than, I'm a fan of Cameron Grimes. No, you're going to have to do better than that. Because nobody is a fan of Cameron Grimes. Nope. Most motherfuckers don't even know who this guy is. And he's been on the roster for almost a year now. And he, again, he's done nothing good. 
nothing. So if you're going to call yourself a fan, try again. Because like, that's like, you know, uh, saying my shoes are untied and I'm not wearing any. You know, you're full of shit. 